What's up guys? Today we're taking a look back at Cold Gin by Kiss. We're in E flat or half step down tuning. So if you don't know what that is, check it out in the link in the description. It's basically going to use uh, the same frets and same strings. The only difference is we're going to be using this fifth string along with it and it's the open fifth string. Um, we're going to start out here seventh, ninth fret, fret the fourth string, seventh fret, third string, ninth fret. We're going to strum through the open fifth, fourth, and third string one time. And if you want that um, cutting in and out sound, roll your neck pickup volume right here off and move that toggle switch up and down. And if you don't want to do that, just you know ignore this part, but it's going to sound like this. Uh, starting to die down then you'll strum through that open fifth fourth and third string once then we come up here fifth and seventh fret fret the fourth string fifth fret third string seventh fret strum through the open fifth fourth and third string one time then we leave that third string fretted on the seventh fret and fret the fourth string over here on the fourth fret and we strum through those same strings once slide back down on that fourth string to be fretted on the fifth fret and you're going to strum through the strings again one time and then we slide it back up and fret the fourth string fourth fret and strum again and then we slide back down fourth string fifth fret and strum them again so that's going to sound like this From there, we come down here, 7th, 9th fret where we start it, fret the 4th on the 7th, 3rd on the 9th, strum through the open 5th, 4th, and 3rd string twice. Then you're going to mute them strings. Now, the very first time it's played, you only strum through that once, and then move to our next position. So we'll run through it the first time, and I'll show you where the change up is on the second time. So that would be our first time. Second time around, we're going to strum through the open 5th, 4th, and 3rd string twice. Move back up and everything's the same here. And then this next time around, you would do it the first way with only strumming through the open 5th, 4th, and 3rd string once. So to put the both parts together, it'll sound like this. And then there's another part where you can do two strums here on the 7th and ninth fret. It's just wait a little bit and then we move to the 5th and 7th fret, strum through the same strings and you do it twice. And that just will sound like this. And there's, you know, a pause in between them of course. But then you come back down to your 7th and ninth, exactly where we start it and then the riff starts over again. One strum, 